Good morning. Okay, we're going to slip into something a little bit different. We've been talking about perimeter, which is the measurement around something. Okay, you just add up all the sides, or as we've seen, it's been faster if we know what two sides are, we'd multiply that and add them together, or for squares, it's so easy just to multiply four sides, because they're all going to be the same. Now, it's a little different when you get to area. Perimeter is the measurement around something, like if you're measuring around your yard, so you'll know how much wood to make to get your fence, to get to put around your fence. Area, though, is the area inside, area inside, the, not the distance around, the area inside. We'll see what they actually say for their, for their definition. It says, area measures the surface of a simple closed figure. Remember, we talked about those. That means it just has no um, lines of intersection. Area is found by dividing the region into square units. Okay, have you ever heard someone say, I need 20 yards of, 20 square yards of fabric, carpet, I meant to say, 20 square yards of carpet, 20 square yards of tile, because the area inside the shape is the part you're measuring now. So this is like for a carpet. If you needed to know how much carpet to buy, you wouldn't measure the line around it because you don't put, like for perimeter, because you don't put carpet around the room, you put it in the middle, right? Okay, so when you're figuring area, it's very similar to perimeter, except we're not adding up all the sides, we're adding the area inside, okay? And today they show it to you like this. Pretend that these are, it doesn't necessarily say these are yards or feet or miles, it's just square units, okay? So on this one, this side right here is 12 square units, let's call them yards. 12 square yards. Pretend this is your your room and your parents are wanting to carpet it. So if it's, if it's your room, it probably wouldn't be 12 square yards. That would be a huge room. 12 square feet would also be kind of a small room, but closer maybe to your bedroom. Okay, so just pretend this is 12 square feet and then count these numbers because they what they've done is they've just put all the numbers inside of here. See, they're counting again. Remember we said we could count around the edges and it's much faster to uh, multiply and we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, so but just for the sake of this is 12 and then this line here would be 24 so forth all the way down to 84. Okay, so there would be 84 square feet inside of this shape or a much faster way of doing it again is to say, okay, this side is 12, this side is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 12 times 7 is 84. So when you're finding the area of a perimeter, it's actually much easier because you're only going to multiply two sides, just like we kind of did on the other one. The other one you had to figure out what two times that side was, plus two times the other side. This one is just side times side, real simple. Okay, and in the and but today I'm not supposed to actually tell you that. We're gonna learn that tomorrow. I don't know why they do it this way. <laughs> Just pretend there's 84 blocks in here. Okay, 84 square blocks. Over here, this kind of looks more like our classroom. Usually when the kids are here, I show you because we have this little teeny tiny part that goes back where my desk is. Let me just show you. Okay, so oh, oh there's one right there. See how I have I have a little corner right there? So you guys remember this here, here's the door, here's my board, and then you come across there and there's that little nook where the pencil sharpener is. So that would be a lot like this shape here maybe, how you do this little thingy here. Maybe that's this little part right here. Okay, and then you have that wall right there. So you wouldn't have an exact square of carpet. It's If you looked at the carpet, it's hard to see it right now. It's in a funny shape because it's got a funny little edge right there. And then remember in the back of the room where my, I told you it's a mess. I still haven't moved anything since you guys have been here last. Um, back here in the back, we have that little square. And the carpet, they had to cut out another funny little square because of this closet right here. The closet makes another little square, see, in the middle of the room. So they had to carpet around the the um, closet. So normally when you guys are here in the room we look at it and you guys can see it probably better when you're here. If, you might be able to understand what I'm talking about. It's hard if you can remember what the room looks like. Okay and then once of course we get to the door then you have a funny little hallway. They had to cut a, 
another shape for the hallway. Okay, so that's what it's kind of showing here, that a lot of times when you're carpeting someplace, it may not be a nice exact square. And sometimes it is a nice exact square. But if you are in your room and you have a closet, look inside your closet and see if you have carpet in there. Unless you don't have carpet outside the, the closet, I bet you have carpet inside your closet too, and they had to cut an extra little square. Okay, so sometimes it's not exactly square. In which case, then we'd have to do a little bit of adding. Anyway, okay, so this is what area is. Do you understand the difference between area and perimeter? Perimeter, we would be measuring this and this and this and adding those three up and then have to measure this one, add that one, this one, add that one, yeah. Even area is kind of hard to do this way. But perimeter, we would be measuring all the way around, or this one's much simpler, the distance around. But for area, we measure the distance inside, see? Okay, let's look at the paper that we're supposed to do. It says to find the area by counting each square unit. Again, we're just going to continue counting today, and then tomorrow we start the easy stuff when you multiply. Okay, so are we on the board? Yes. All right, here we go. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. You guys can keep counting if you want, or we all know the shortcut. Six times one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you want to, you can keep counting. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 8, 9, 30, through 1, through 2, through 3, through 4, through 5, through 6. Or, I'm already telling you for yet tomorrow, the fast way is to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times 6, 36. Does that look like a square to you? It doesn't look like a square to me. To me, that looks like there's a long side and a short side. Maybe they made these squares inside here not perfectly straight, or it's an optical illusion, but either way, it's 6 by 6. So you can either count them all, and there's 36, or you can do it the fast way. 6 times 6 is 36. And we call it square units. This one doesn't specifically say inches, yard, feet, so they're just calling it units today. Tomorrow we'll get more specific. Now this one is kind of fun. This looks like there's some sort of a closet in that one. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We know that bottom one is also 11 with one missing, which is 10. What's 11 plus 10? 21 square units. Okay, and then this little one over here, they're trying to make it really creative for us. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 5 is 10. 11, 12, 13, 14 whole ones, 15 whole ones, plus 2 halves, 16. 15 plus 2 halves is 16, because that's a half of a square and that's a half of a square. Triangle makes a half square. The diagonal makes it into a triangle. Okay, so that's all you have to do today is add those. And then down here, we're doing what we did yesterday or the day before. And it says to find the perimeter. And again, as long as it's in the same, it does say if necessary, whoops, you can't see that, can you? It does say if necessary, convert to the lesser unit. Okay, this one has the same measures, no problem. The square has all the same sides. This one over here has feet and inches, so you're gonna have to convert both of those into the lesser. Which one's the lesser unit? Uh, feet or inches? inches. So convert that into inches, add it all up, make it all into inches. And you know how to do the rest. All right. Enjoy the day.